Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. I welcome you all to our Rajana Short Lectures. And today we will be discussing another topic under the Paribhasha Sariram, that is Kurcha. So let's see what is the etymological explanation for the term Kurcha. Kurcha iva Kurcha ha namni vagradiru neya. So this quote that has been taken from the Dahana's commentary explains that Kurcha iva Kurcha ha that which converges or which becomes sharp is termed as kurcha. Namne vagradiru neya. Namne refers to the name. So the name itself suggests the akriti or structure of that particular term. And the term kurcha may be defined as the converging part of a brush like appearance. So here you can see the image of a brush, paint brush, where you can see many fibers or bristles are getting converged at the stalk of the brush and then pointed downwards. Similar structures which are present in the body are considered as kurcha. So let's discuss the enumerated enumeration part of kurcha. Shat kurcha ha te hasta pada griva medreshu hasta yor duav pada yor duav griva medreyor ekaika. So this reference taken from Susrutam Charida explains that there are six kurchas in number. Shat kurcha ha, they are six in number and they are located hasta pada griva medreshu. So this defines the location of this kurchas. Hasta, that refers to the hand. Pada refers to the feet. Griva refers to the neck. And Medra refers to the penis. So these are the locations. And they are further classified as follows. Hasta yor duav. There are two kurchas you can find in the hand. Pada yor duav. You can find two of them in the feet. Griva medra yor ekaikaha. That refers to that the neck and the penile region will be having two further, one each on them. And total, we have six kurchas in number. So this defines the enumeration part. And let's look at the interpretation part, where we will see the kurcha may be correlated to that of the specific pointed arrangements of muscles, bones, blood vessels, fascia, or ligaments. So when all of them like uh, looks like a bristle of the brush and when they converge at one point that can be considered as a kurcha so for example i have taken the picture of a dissected hand where you can see the blue color representation is that of the palmar aponeurosis and you can see the blood vessels and nerves which are coming below it and even the muscle fibers are also converging at that area so this converging point or can be considered as the kurcha itself so that is the whole concept of the explanation that can be given for the kurcha. For the example purpose, we can quote the palmar aponeurosis of the hand or the plantar aponeurosis of the feet, then the ligamentum nuke, which is present in the neck region and the suspensory ligament of penis in the penile region. So these examples you can quote for the, uh, as an example for uh, the kurcha. So this concludes today's session on Kurcha under the Paribhasha Sarira. Thank you.